I was browsing through my YouTube comment history and came across this post, which begs the question, Pinhead Pat, great YouTuber or the greatest YouTuber? Needless to say, as soon as I saw this post, I went straight to Discord and sure enough, a few hours earlier, Loki had once again returned to the Terraria Discord where he was answering all kinds of questions about the mobile 1.3 beta. Yes, he has fielded yet more questions from Discord users. If you missed my other video about Loki's other lunchtime appearance, it covers a lot of ground. You can find a link to that video in the video description below. But for now, let's go over what Loki talked about upon his first return to Discord. In that brief revisit, Camastro asked, since there will be multiplayer, will there be a friend system? And Loki answered that, no, but it will save the IP info for servers you've played on before. I'm not sure they've ever actually answered that question before. Either way, that's a pretty good clarification. But that was, as I said, just one brief reappearance in that lunchtime chat from the other day. More recently, in the one referenced with that YouTube comment at the beginning of this video, Loki made a much bigger splash on the Terraria Discord and wrote a whole lot more. And so, without belaboring the point, let's get to Loki's more recent appearance on the Terraria Discord. He announced his appearance with th this comment. Just a quick afternoon check-in. Didn't get to actually do Moonlord today. Phone calls and then folks had to step out. Tomorrow, maybe. Now, not everything he posted was news or particularly insightful. Some of it was just chit chat or rehashing what was talked about the other day. So I've excluded those things. But Loki did write, you are gonna need to prepare to navigate the learning curve folks. But once you do, happiness, smiley face. So there he goes again, talking about the Terraria controls. It's definitely his favorite topic, but let's get to some of the questions. Go six ho. I think that's how you pronounce it, wrote, is something changed since the last stream? Presumably referencing the hour long Twitch stream from a couple of weeks ago. And to that Loki responded, just bug fixes and tweaks and polish, which is pretty much what a beta period is for. Drawer Z Backmailer, Blackmailer, mentioned a potential Terraria 1.5 in the chat, to which Loki responded, do you mean, are we faking you out with Journey's End? As I said, or as we said, we plan on this being the final major update outside of hotfixes and polish and whatnot. So that was really not so much about the beta for Mobile 1.3 as it is about the 1.4 patch. Anyway, moving along, Yoshi Boy Gaming 3200 asked, are you gonna make another Terraria 1.3 mobile stream? And Loki answered, yeah, I suspect so. It was a decent experience, so I would like to give it another go. I mean, all I can tell you is that. So, he's not really 100% certain, obviously, but he's thinking about it. Kurzak asked, Are glitches from PC going to be on mobile? Um, mobile 1.3.0.7, which of course is mobile 1.3 and to that Loki answered yes probably cherry picking fixes from future updates is dangerous versus just taking them on when they come so they're not gonna try to resolve PC bug fixes using PC methods it sounds like they're just gonna squash bugs as they appear and just catch as catch can once it's released and of course the beta itself ought to catch a lot of bugs anyway Zionite asked Similar to PC, will it be possible to host dedicated multiplayer servers on mobile, assuming it is not already? Loki answered, true dedicated servers, like up all the time, will need the PC server executable for mobile. But yeah, you can host from your device. Kurzak had yet another patch question for Loki. He wrote, if mobile 1.2.4 is actually 1.2.12785 what will be the 1.3.0.7 on mobile 
And I think Loki was just beaten at this point. He wrote, no idea. We just call it 1.3. And I am much happier calling it 1.3. That's a real mouthful uh, that Kurzak wrote about. Anyway, Alex the Superior asked, will inventory editors of mobile still work after they update? Loki wrote, doubtful. I mean, I'm sure they will try to update, but if I'm being honest, it seems kind of shady that an inventory editor or cheat app costs as much as the game itself. Just going to leave that out there. So he doesn't seem like a super fan of it. Slaughter Lathe asked, How much did it cost to recreate Moon Lord on mobile? Loki answered, Cost? Not going to give out dollar figures. Let's just say none of these supposedly free updates are cheap to make. And then Slaughter Lathe followed up with, My English is bad, sorry. I meant, how hard was the task? Loki answered to that, Terraria is a demanding thing to do right, so it's not been easy, but DR have been great. Their instincts are smart. So I guess by that he means a, a lesser studio might have struggled where DR Studios has thrived. Next, Scoop God posed this question. And it's a little hard to read, but it's a question about some kind of overlay appearing, mentioning some kind of expired thing every time they open Terraria. Loki answered that. That is because every play is defunct. Okay, he was asking about the every play notification. And since it's defunct, there's no real point trying to go back and fix it. What is a nuisance text pop up that doesn't affect the actual game? So just click OK, you should be good to go. So it doesn't sound like this every play notification is something that they're really worried about. So I guess you're just going to have to click OK and, and deal with it. Savage asked, are you going to increase the app price for those who haven't bought the game yet? Loki wrote, not that I know of. I was actually wondering about this the other day. I was wondering if you were to wait until afterwards whether the price would go up by a few dollars or whatever your currency is. It's good at least that Loki hasn't heard any definitive answer that there will be a price increase. Obviously I'm hoping that there won't. But back to Scoop God who posed another question. How do you access the main map in 1.3? And Loki told him, he said, press the map button or pinch zoom. So you've got more than one way, which is nice. And then randomly in the middle of the chat, Loki wrote, the staff here do a great job. And to that, I just have to say, Loki has done an excellent job himself. He's really put himself out there and, and through things like this, done a lot for the community. So Loki, man, you do a great job also. But moving along, Savage once again, had a question and he asked about the fly button is it possible to use weapons while flying if so how because there's also a lot of players wondering about that and this really triggered Loki who as I've mentioned before absolutely loves talking about the controls and he wrote sure there are two buttons and screen touch otherwise I would never have been able to beat the game and I did it before combat targeting. With combat targeting, you don't even have to aim really once you lock on, but I tend to use touch on the screen for weapon aiming, and I keep the sticks for moving and such. So there, he was really on a roll. He loves talking about those controls. Anyway, Ennard asked, Yo dude, do you know when mobile will be released for all? And actually, Loki didn't answer first. A user named Mr. Karma replied to that with Criddle said this year and although he didn't specifically tag a, a comment with his subsequent answer Loki did immediately follow up with this which makes me think it was a direct response to Mr. Karma's post about this being this year Loki wrote yep and it's true so hopefully he was meaning 1.3 is gonna come out this year Sir Pepeto asked, and he had an awesome avatar, but I didn't save it. Sir Pepeto asked, 
How far are you guys on the 1.3 update? Loki replied, If you mean playthroughs, several of us have done single player playthroughs and the multiplayer playthrough with five or six folks is at Frost Moon and Moon Lord. We did two towers yesterday. And this was followed up by yet more user interface and control chat from Loki. He wrote, All info accessories work. The right stick is for aiming and even tool use depending on how you set it up for each item. You will find yourself settling into your own hybrid style. I mean there is a learning curve and you will have to sort that out and adapt. No lie there, but once you do, that seems to be the consistent experience. That said, DR is going to tweak the left stick alt jump for more fluid use, I think. And that was it. Seems appropriate that he ended with controller chat. Again, that's his favorite topic. And I'm not criticizing him, it's just kind of funny to notice. Loki, in his departure, did say he would try to get us some kind of a screenshot of the game's rain later. But I never saw him return. But regardless, it was another good chat with Loki. And he answered some questions that had already been posed the other day. I didn't post those answers because it seemed redundant in light of my other video. Thanks everyone for watching and commenting on all of these videos, by the way. The buzz surrounding Mobile 1.3 is definitely getting louder, and as they build up to release, I expect plenty of news to come our way, and in case you missed it, here's a post from this week on the Terraria Discord by Mr. Game Theory. I'll end with this, so you're free to read it yourself. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.